So please bear with me, first of all. Zoom pushed out a very bad update. Um, so we've lost some functionality, but we'll fight on regardless. Um, so in the last video, we, um, we outlined a problem that the trig functions are not one-to-one -one and don't have inverses, but we really need them to have inverses. In this video, we will outline the solution. So here is the sign of x. It's not one-to-one, -one, and therefore it's not invertible. Um, a visual way to see that it's not one-to-one -one is to draw what... Okay, interesting, but let's... Let's try this again. A visual way of seeing that this is not one-to-one -one is to draw a horizontal line. And do you see this horizontal line hits this curve in two places? This first point says that f of 0 0.305 is 0.3. The second point says that f of 2.837 is 0.3. So f of 0 0.305 equals f of 2.837. But of course, 0 0.305 isn't 2.837. So this is an um, application of the horizontal line test. And now, please bear with me as you see, Zoom decided that what I really want is to not have access to about a fifth of the screen when I go to the white board. So we're going to be having a lot more frames than we used to have. The horizontal line test says that if you can draw a horizontal line that hits the graph more than once, then the curve is not one to one. And we're interested in invertibility. And we remind ourselves that being one-to-one -one and being invertible are the same thing. So the fact that this line is hitting the curve in multiple places tells us what we already knew, that the sign isn't one-to-one -one and isn't invertible. So our solution to this, it's going to seem a little weird when we first see it. But it's going to be to look at a function that looks like the sine of x, except that it has a very restricted domain. You know, the sign of x was defined everywhere. This new function is only defined on a tiny little interval. It's only defined from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2. But what this new function does have is an inverse. We see that now these horizontal lines only touch the curve once. 
So this new function, which looks like the sign, but is only defined on this small interval, is invertible. So, we do things like this and then complain when students find it confusing. But the inverse trig functions are not the inverses of the trig function. Instead, there are the inverses of restricted functions. So there are the inverse of functions that look like the trig functions, but are only defined on a small interval. And we'll consider the implications of this in our next video. We'll also, you know, write down what the intervals are for all of the trig functions, all that good stuff. But I'm trying to keep individual videos relatively short.